Hey team, uh, Alar Camel here, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use a uh, free you know, Windows-based utility called Bulk Rename Utility. Now this is very useful for if you see here, any time you're working with a lot of photos, um, even something like a lot of documents, uh, REOs, club leaders, anytime you have a lot of photos or a lot of files that you wanna rename to something similar and, uh, and have it done uh, in bulk rather than on a step-by-step -step process. So the utility I found is called Bulk Rename Utility, and you'll see um, you can just Google search it, Bulk Rename Utility, and it'll come up with the first link, um, which is a website in the UK. Okay, so then you can pull that, uh, open up that web page, and it's pretty simple. You just click on the free download. It's okay. Okay, pop up, save the file, and uh, then you can install it that way. Now, we'll go ahead and leave that and say, once you get the program installed, that's where the magic starts to happen. And you can see here, all these files I'd like to rename uh, some sort of UVA club and then numbers for each consecutive file. So I can go ahead and hit Control A to highlight them all, and then right click, and I can go ahead and click bulk rename here and it'll open up the utility and allow me to rename them um, in the uh, software there that we just downloaded. Okay, so you can see here, there's a couple things um, that I like to do with photos particularly. Um, control A to get all of them here. Uh, JPEG is all in capital letters. And then for aesthetics, I like it to be in lowercase. So I change the extension field here. Now numbering is what I really wanna add. So here under the numbering field, I can add a suffix. I can separate it with a space by just hitting the space bar there. And then you can see here it already starts to number them one, two, three, four, et cetera. And then I like to pad them to three there. And so what that means is they're all gonna be three digits and the ones will start with two leading zeros. Okay, and then we can go to the file and that's what really comes in handy here is to change the file name to UVA Club of Fredericksburg. Yep. Okay, August 2013 student send off. Okay. So that's what I changed it to. You can see the name as it previously was, and then the new name as it will be for each file. And then click Rename. And there it finished renaming 50 files as is. There you go.